Hey sisters, I am Esther, half of the Style Sisters, and I am stoked about today's video. I am taking my family to Disney in just a couple of weeks, and I could not be more excited, you guys. I visited Disney when I was six years old, and then again when I was a senior in high school, and I took my dad one day last year so that we could celebrate our love of Star Wars at Galaxy's Edge, and it was so much fun. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm packing, what I'm bringing to Disney. I have four kids, and we have held off on going on family vacations until my youngest was, he's almost four, um, just so that he could enjoy it and he could know what's going on and be able to participate. So we've been waiting a really long time for this trip, you guys. So I am just going to show you some of the things that I've found that I think are going to make our trip a lot easier. Um, and that I think, you know, it's going to be easy to be on the plane with them. And that's something that I think a lot of parents get nervous about. And then just walking around the park for hours and hours. So I just want to show you guys some of the things I've found that I um, think are really going to make a difference in making our trip easy and simplifying it. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's jump in. So the first thing I want to show you is these really cute Dis this really cute Disney luggage that I found. So we got this at Costco and they had three different prints and we got two sets of two so that each kid could have their own. And so and when you unzip it, inside there is a smaller version of the suitcase, which is the perfect size for a little kid. So I'm just gonna pull it out here and show you. And then the inside is this really cute print and they're all different depending on the print that you get. And it's a hard case, it was, it was a really good deal. So we got each kid one, we're super excited. And even if you're not going to Disney, it's still really nice luggage for a really affordable price. Um, and it's just nice to have, to give your kids luggage that they can use, you know, every time you go on vacation for many, many years to come. Because I don't know about you guys, but I would totally use this luggage. And so if you, even if you're not going with kids, this would be a great uh, set for you to have. And I think like when my kids aren't using it, I'm totally gonna steal it and use it because I love it so much. So now I'm gonna show you guys some of the other things that I've found that I'm so stoked about. Okay, I have my suitcase open. I'm just gonna put my stuff in here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the kids. So I got each kid a mini backpack and then inside of the backpacks, I put several things to make sure that they stay entertained on the plane and have everything they need so I don't have to be getting things out of my bag constantly <laughs> on a three and a half hour flight. So the first thing is I got these reusable Velcro bags. My mom actually made these, but there's an Etsy shop. There's several Etsy shops that make them, so I can put a link below if you guys want to get your own. So these are a Velcro bag, and inside I put some snacks for each kid. Fruit strip, applesauce, granola bar, things like that, um, so that they can be managing their own snacks. And I'm going to tell them when we leave that when they're gone, they're gone. That's the end of the snacks, so they need to ration them wisely. The next thing I did was went to the dollar store and grabbed a little cosmetic bag for each kid. I grabbed a different print so that they wouldn't get them mixed up. And then inside I bought a pack of four little notebooks from the dollar store and put one of those in there. And then each kid I bought a package of um, 10 washable markers from Target and took them out of the box and put them in there so they have their own little zipper pouch. I'm going to throw some stickers in there too. Then I got them each a stainless steel water bottle, a Disney one from Target. These are so fabulous. They have the pop-up tops um, and they stay cold for a really long time. And again, if I fill this up for a flight, it's gonna stay cold and it's gonna hold enough where they can keep drinking throughout the flight. They each have a zipper pouch with their little iPod and um, charger in there, so that's separate. Then on Amazon, I found these. These are called Cozy Foams and you guys, these are going to be a game changer. I don't know about you guys, but my kids' ears get sore when they use the earbuds, but I didn't want them to bring those big bulky headphones either. So these are like a headband, like a headband that you would wear in the winter to keep your ears warm. Um, and so they just put this on their head like a headband and the headphones are right in here. They're washable. You can take the headphones and cord out and throw them in the washing machine. I got each kid a different color and then this just plugs right into their iPod comes in a little bag. Super easy. It's going to be really comfortable for them to wear. I love that they're washable and they're compact. So I'm again, I'm not having to worry about their big headphones breaking um, because they're going to have these nice little soft ones. And then lastly, I found these cute little compact Lego sets from Target. 
and they're just really they're really small so I might actually take them out of the box but they each have their own little set with some pieces in there so it's just very small it's all in one closable container and it's um, you know it's contained so they can have these little sets to play with on the airplane and then I threw a chapstick in the front pocket too just in case so that's what's in the kids bags then next, I obviously wanted them to be all out in Disney clothes because this is their first big trip and they're so excited, but I didn't want to spend a fortune. You guys, if you buy a t-shirt at Disney, it's $30 to $40, um, sometimes $25 maybe, but they're just really, really expensive and I didn't want to have to spend that much while we're there. So I went to Target, I grabbed some character tees for like $7, um, $7.99, actually this one was on clearance, so this is Mickey and Minnie. They have these cute little scooter skirts um, with shorts inside for my girls um, and then just kind of like knit shorts for my son. And um, I got them some cute Disney outfits without paying a huge price. So these are definitely coming with us. I also got each kid a custom My First Disney Trip shirt. I had a friend make these. I bought the, t the red t-shirts from Target. For like five bucks and then I had her put the vinyl on there then I got them each a pair of really cute sunglasses from Target as well as some Mickey ears on Etsy and their favorite characters and a little hat for each kid just so that they can be protected in the Sun and they can even put this on over their hat and it would be really cute so then next I wanted to bring some activities that I could pull out when I felt like maybe they were getting a little bored or were at the house that we're staying at and they just need a little something to do and I don't want them to be on a screen the whole time. So I actually went to the dollar store and I got some little activity packets, some fun little activity books. This one's with sticky string. They love these little puzzles and they're all a buck. So you guys, even if you use them up and throw them away when you're there, you're not wasting money. Then I also got on Amazon a couple of really fun, compact little games. This one's called Canoodle, and this one's called Blurt, and I just thought these would be small little games that we could throw in. We could all play as a family, maybe in the evening or in the morning before the park, or again, if they just get bored and they need something to do, these are really small games. And I'm going to link all this stuff below, guys, so if you want to grab your own, feel free. Then I grabbed this really fun book from from Amazon called Who Was Walt Disney. This is a whole series of books. If you haven't heard about them, my kids really like them. But this one's about Disney. I'm gonna give this one to them on the airplane so they can read all about him. And then from Usborne Books, I ordered some little activity books for them. So I'm gonna actually keep these stashed in my backpack so that again, when I feel like they need something to do and I just don't want them on a screen anymore, I can pull out these fun activities for them and they'll be a surprise. And of course, we have to have some snacks. So I just grabbed some m and Smarties and fruit chewing gum to give them um, when they're being really good or again, when they need something to distract them. Then I went on Etsy and I ordered this really cute custom autograph book. I love this, the quality is incredible. I'm definitely gonna put a link to her shop down below. She's not sponsoring it, she doesn't even know I'm doing it, but I'm just so in love with it that I have to share with you guys. Um, so she custom, the cover is custom. It says Schultz Family Disney Adventure 2020. It's all in cardstock. She used maybe a Cricut or something. And then the inside, there's a page right here for a photo and you can actually add these on if you want to um, into the book. But this quality, this cardstock is super thick. So if you bring Sharpies with you, it's not gonna bleed through. So what you do then is on one side of the page, you have the character sign their autograph. And then on the other side of the page, you put a four by six photo. So you have an autograph book and a photo album all in one. It's custom made, it's super high quality. And you guys, this was literally 20 bucks. So it was worth every single penny and much better quality than all of the autograph books that I've seen online. Super excited to use it and my kids are too. Another thing I found on Amazon that I'm really stoked about because I travel a lot so I know I'm going to use this a ton way beyond Disney is this really cool water bottle. You guys, it doesn't even look like a water bottle, but it has this cute carabiner so you can hook it to your um, stroller or your bag or whatever and then it rolls up. So all you do is pull this little tab, unroll it and fill it up with water. It has a top that secures with a little um, clasp. So it's not going to come undone, but you can pop it up, share drinks with it. It has a little spring in it. 
and then when you're all done with it you can just roll it back up and clasp it again so this is going to be awesome for bringing to the parks filling up with water whenever we get the chance and passing around and then rolling it back up and throwing it in the bag then of course we need our little emergency kit right so anything that goes wrong a mother has to be prepared for that so i just put mine in a little packing cube a zipper pouch would work fine too and inside here's what i have so i bought this on amazon this is a tiny little essential oils hard traveling case i am an oils user i don't know about you if not you can totally skip over this part but i am really excited that i found this i know that i'm going to keep it with me when we're going to the beach this summer no matter where we go this is going to be coming with me so it's a small little case it comes in lots of different prints and inside it holds 12 roller bottles it didn't come with the bottles i actually ordered those separately but i think for the case and the bottles i think maybe it was like 15 or 20 bucks so really inexpensive and affordable and it holds i'm sorry it holds 10 roller bottles inside so i'm just gonna put my blends in here with carrier oils so if the kids get a bug bite or they fall and skin their knee or their muscles are sore from walking or whatever it is they need help sleeping at night i'm just gonna have this case with me all the time it's really small and easy um, to travel with, but it's also hard, so it's not gonna, the bottles aren't gonna break inside. Then I bought this little welly first aid kit from Target. All it has in it is some bandages and some antibiotic ointment. I think I'm gonna throw a few Q-tips in as well since there's room just to apply the ointment so I'm not using my hands. Um, and then I'm also gonna put a hand sanitizer in here. I haven't gotten that yet, but this is just a cute compact way to carry some bandages. Then, of course, some Kleenex, cotton all flushable wipes. I don't know about you, but my kids, you know, they need a little extra clean. So we're going to throw those in. Then these wet ones, hypoallergenic um, just wipes. So, like, if their hands get sticky or they need to wash them before a meal, again, you can use hand sanitizer, but these are great. And then I'm also putting these Everspring um, multi-surface cleaning wipes in here. These are a natural product by Everspring and they're from Target and they were just in the travel section. I'm bringing a couple packages of these. So again, when we sit down at a table to eat, I can just wipe it off or I can wipe off the trays on the airplane just to avoid getting sick if at all possible. And then last, I have some shout wipes to go because you know your kids are gonna get stains on their clothes and maybe you don't care, um, but if they're wearing a really nice outfit, maybe you do. So all of this fits beautifully in this cute little um, packing cube and I'm just gonna throw this in my little backpack that I'm bringing to the parks and just have it with me so that I'm prepared for anything that could happen next up I want to share a couple items that I'm excited about for myself well and the kids too actually so I got these really cute shoes from native I don't know if you guys have heard of these shoes but I'm recently in love with them I got a pair for every single person in the family they are like a water resistant shoe. So these aren't water shoes, um, but they are water resistant. So when you're going on the rides where you're gonna get wet um, or it starts raining for the day, your, sho your shoes aren't gonna get soaked and then be wet for the rest of the day. So I just grabbed two pairs. Um, this is my, my daughter's and then these are for my husband, but I got us each a pair and they're like a plastic lightweight shoe. So they're not gonna be heavy when we're walking around. They do have some arch support. They're comfortable to wear, but then again, they can get wet and be just fine. So I feel like these are the perfect theme park shoes and I cannot wait to try them out. I think they're gonna be really, really awesome. Then on Amazon, I have to tell you guys about these. If you use makeup wipes, you need to get the these um, makeup remover cloths. These are fantastic. You can stop wasting wipes and throwing them away and creating more trash. I mean, do your part, girlfriend, okay? Um, but I bought this three-pack on Amazon for 15 bucks. I got the black because I would rather have black and not see the makeup on it than get like a white or a pink and see the makeup. So these are these when I say ultra soft, I mean it. They are ultra soft. And I have the original makeup erasers that are 20 bucks a piece. And I feel like these work just as well. And they're $15 for three. They have some fun colors. Like I said, I like the black. They are really, really soft. They're gentle on your skin, but they're like slightly exfoliating. You just throw them in the wash. And then inside the package, it actually came with a little travel bag. So I'm just going to put one of these and one really will last you a whole week on vacation. So you can totally bring two if you want, but if you just rinse them really well after you use them, one will last your whole trip. 
So you just put it right in here. It's waterproof so that if it's still wet when you leave, you don't have to worry about it. And you can just toss this in your bag and you're good to go. But I would strongly recommend these. I will put the link down below for you guys. Um, but they're fabulous. And I, for the price of a box of makeup wipes at Costco or three months of makeup wipes, I got this pack that will last me years to come. Next of all, um, I have my makeup just in this little makeup travel pouch. And then I found these on Amazon, you guys, and these are fabulous. So they're, they say wind blows, river flows on the front. And I bought a two pack. I bought one for me and one for my husband. It was literally $10 for two of them, you guys. So inside it comes with a small zipper pouch. I would use this for like Q-tips or um, nail clippers, things like that. And then this is actually supposed to be for a makeup brush. I ended up using mine for my toothbrush because it's just a good way to keep it clean. You could use it for a razor or something like that, kind of whatever you want. Um, and then, then they fold down so they're really easy to store. And then they open up and fold over. And I'm gonna actually turn it inside out so I can show you the inside. So it has all these little mesh pockets and elastic um, little pieces in there to hold all of your products. These are washable as well. So you fill them up. So I loaded mine up with all my toiletries, everything I'm going to need, dry shampoo, um, shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, hair stuff, everything I need. And so I can just set it on the counter like this and it's going to keep all my products contained. You guys probably have been to a hotel and all your crap is spread all over, but this is going to keep everything contained. And then to travel, you just pull it up and pull this down and now it's ready to go in your bag. This is absolutely worth every single penny it is so inexpensive and it is so quality um, and it's waterproof so again it's just one of those things that I feel like everybody needs in their bag and now I got a set of two so one for my husband too and then the last thing I want to show you guys is these packing cubes I got a set of seven packing cubes for 20 bucks less than 20 bucks on Amazon and I'm sure my husband's gonna be really happy about the pink leopard print but it came with this zipper pouch, which you could literally use for anything. You could put underwear in here or, I mean, really anything you need a zipper pouch for. And then it came with these packing cubes. And I am going to show you guys, if you haven't used these, why you need them. So it came with two big ones and a medium one and two, or I'm sorry, two medium because they came in a medium and two small and then the zipper pouch. So I'm going to show you guys in a medium one how much stuff you can fit in here, okay? So in this medium one, which I'll link below, and again, if you don't like leopard print, there's tons of other colors. So I have a pair of capris, and kind of the idea is that you roll them up when you're packing in a packing cube. So you just roll up your pair. I'm gonna show you those shorts in a second. Your t-shirts, roll them up. Pair of jeans. This is like a full-size pair of jeans, you guys. I'm gonna actually do it this way. And then a sweater, lightweight cardigan, which I'll probably wear on the plane, but just for the purposes of showing you. I'm gonna roll it up, I'm gonna put it in here. And that is that is like a big, that is a big sweater. So it, and a big pair of jeans. And these aren't lightweight things. Like I could probably fit eight pairs of shorts in this medium tone. So you literally just zip it up and look. Now it's this nice compact thing. You could do each, each one could have an outfit or two. You could do one for shirts, one for shorts, one for, you know, undies and bras and things like that. But you guys, these fit so much and they make your suitcase so nice and organized. They all fit into your suitcase nicely. You know where everything is. You're not digging and throwing things everywhere. Um, and they're, they're just, they're literally life changing. If you have never bought a set, you need to buy them. They're amazing. I also like to bring a small purse with me that I can wear in the parks just with my ID, some cash, my phone, and a lip gloss. So I have this little purse here. And then you guys, game changer, found these shorts on Amazon. They are like leggings material shorts and I bought two pairs. I love them so much. I can't wait to wear them in the parks. These are like the most comfortable shorts ever. They don't look big on me. They're, they're more form fitting, which for me is my personal preference. So I am super excited about those. You guys, I'm going to Disney in two weeks. I literally cannot wait. I am so excited that I got to show you all this 
and I hope that when you go to Disney or on your vacation, your life is a little bit easier. So I'm going to link all of this stuff down below. Please tell me where you're going on vacation. I would love to hear. I would love it if you would comment, share this with a friend who's going on vacation, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you follow us. I appreciate it. It was great to chat with you guys today, and I will see you next time. Bye.